she had cheated on me with four people during the first semester then hooked up with a guy the night we broke up. I helped a girl get petty revenge on her cheating ex. Almost a decade ago in my first year of uni, I had AFWB who was amazing in bed but neither of us wanted anything more serious. Just as I felt like I might consider a boyfriend, I found out that he told me he was spending a weekend at a concert with a friend, when he actually was spending a weekend with another girl in her family home and went to a gig on one night. We weren't even close to monogamous, but to that point we'd been honest. If he told me he would be with her in what I'd consider to be a very boyfriend type situation, I would have been more okay. As it was, it was the week before summer break and I didn't want to be a potential side B. I let the relationship fizzle. Four years later, I hadn't heard from him in a very long time, though I was on friendly terms with him if we did run into each other. I got a weird FB message from a girl telling me to go die. I inquired why I was being told to do this, and after a long back and forward which included many insults from her, I was informed that she was in fact the long-term girlfriend of my old FWB. They'd been dating for five years at that point. So for you clever people, you'll realize she had been in a committed relationship for a year with him when he began sleeping with me. I also know at the time he was with me he had also slept with at least three other girls, either in other FWB situations or as one night stands. I apologized for the situation, making it clear I had no idea of her existence at the time, and assured her that I had broken things off the moment I thought there was something going on with him and another girl anyway. It turned out she was the girl he'd spent that weekend with. For her birthday. With her entire family. Fast forward a bit, we actually ended up being friends. She had gotten my name because she'd found out about another girl he'd been cheating with currently, and when she demanded to know if there were others, he'd given her a list of at least 11 more whom he could remember sleeping with over the years. I was on that list. I still don't know why he did this, or what he thought would make this better for him, but there you are. She mentions to me that she's coming to visit friends in the town we both were in, and to talk things over with him, but she's not sure if she wants to actually get back with him. I jokingly say I'd love to be a fly on the wall, and she insists that's a great idea. So we plan to both be in the pub, like we're old friends, when he comes to meet her. The payoff was amazing. We sat at a table directly in front of the door so he couldn't miss us. When he walked in, he first smiled when he saw her and then went white with shock when he saw me. She got absolutely wrecked that evening and went home with a different guy, a friend who knew her, so she was safe, and made sure to make out with him messily a lot in front of her ex. Just before I headed off to my own boyfriend, I made sure to tell him straight and soberly how much of a piece of shit he was to do that to both of us, but mainly to her. I left him alone and homeless, he'd fallen out with his housemates over this as they knew her too, and they'd kicked him out. He was hoping to stay at her hotel which is why he'd sat through the entire evening of her antics, but she was now with this other guy. I'm sure, however, knowing him he found a bed with some other trash. TL, DR. Unknowingly was the other woman. Helped main girl confront cheater years after I broke things off with him. His expression will forever be one of the most satisfying memories ever. Edit. A lot of people are querying why I use trash in the final line. I thought I'd try to explain it. As one person guessed, there is a difference, in my eyes in the least, between someone who sleeps around, is open and honest about this behavior, and who is safe in the sense of using protection, etc. Then there's another caliber of person who sleeps around but tells each of their partners that they're monogamous. Will manipulate, coerce or bribe anyone to sleep with them, whether they were in a relationship or not, and who doesn't believe in using protection for whatever reason. I would say that anyone who is in the first category isn't a bad person, but quite normal. Anyone in the second category is trash. And those people were the kind of girls that he would sleep with when I was friends with him. When we were together there was one ongoing point of contention with a girl who was in our friendship group who did all of those things, and he would constantly complain about her to me, but then I'd find out the next day that he'd gone home with her. You can't tell me that someone's sexual habits are revolting to you and then have sex with them and have me not think you're a hypocrite. This was another factor in me breaking things off. I didn't want to catch anything from her via him. After I broke things off with this guy, I was in an open relationship with another guy for about a year until he fell in love with a girl and I'm still friends with both of them. 
I didn't, and still don't to a degree, feel that sex was a particularly intimate or emotional thing. It was just an itch to scratch and I didn't want the emotional connection at the time that a full-time boyfriend would bring. Just before the girlfriend got in touch with me, however, I did meet someone who I finally felt a connection with, and I felt he was worth me giving up everyone else for. We're still in a monogamous relationship, something I never thought I'd be happy with, and are planning a life together. Absolute petty revenge story on my cheating ex. So I'd been on and off with this girl for a while. She was smoking hot, solid 9 over 10. Her and I just kind of clicked right off the bat and it felt very natural. She seemed pretty smart too, felt like I lucked out. Boy was I wrong. We were at that awkward, friends but not friends stage for about half a year and then one night she drops the L-bomb. I'm totally cool with it too, let her know I feel the same way. We date for about a year. Then shit gets weird. I post some stupid cute comment on her Facebook picture, just trying to be sweet, and this dude comes in telling me I'm too slow on the draw and he's Prince Charming. Red flags now, this dude sounds pretty confident. The, we've been talking about stuff kind of confident. Confront her about it and she insists they are just friends, yay, right, and they just started talking last month. I'm not stupid. Tell her either she cuts contact with him or I'm walking. She chooses the latter because, he's a really great guy. Okay, whatever. I'll get over it. Just another woman hell-bent on wasting my time. About a month later she comes crying back and insists she loves me and we are meant to be together, and that guy was such a D, they hooked up and then he bailed from what I understand. I know she's full of shit but on the off chance she's serious, I have her swear that she loves me and there's no going back this time. Enter Matt Vanguard, Dota 2 players will get the reference. I set up a fake profile with a sizable library of handsome photos from some random guy I found online. Then I add enough info and friends to make it believable, then add her and start chatting her up on this fake account. She swears left and right that this time is different, meanwhile Matt is scoring her number and setting up a date, I had an alternate phone number thanks to text plus, free text and calling. I'm freaking pissed. It takes a real heartless bee to sit there confessing their love to someone they've been with a year and a half, while simultaneously setting up a date with someone else they've never even met and know nothing about. Yay, I'm definitely burning this shallow bee to the ground, and I even did my best to make Matt sound like kind of an idiot and kind of an a-hole. She dropped the babe word for example and Matt responded with. Don't call me that again, got it? I'm not your babe. So she's going to school and takes the bus back and forth. I know her classes run pretty late, and buses don't run forever, you know? So Matt is going to pick her up after school in his super fancy car and take her on the most romantic date of her life, or at least that's what she thinks. He conveniently doesn't get off work until about an hour after she gets out of class. She says that's fine and she'll just study until Matt arrives. Meanwhile I'm asking her, as myself, if she wants to hang out and she says she has some extracurricular thing going on and her friend is going to give her a ride home. Ha ha ha, F you. So she hits up Matt. Her, hey are you almost here? If not I have to take the bus because they stop running soon. You can tell she's a little annoyed. He says, yay sorry, I had to do overtime. We were super busy tonight. I'm leaving now. Her, okay can't wait to see you. Oh, you can. You can and you will. Time drags by, Matt is now an hour late. He's super apologetic and he's speeding to the school to go get her. F. I just got pulled over. I shouldn't have been speeding but I felt bad for being late. Her, seriously? Wow. Well, get here as soon as possible. Time keeps ticking and she is pissed at that point. Matt is hours late. Finally I break the news. Sorry, I don't go out on dates with lying whores. Her, what? What are you talking about? This isn't Matt. This is Anon. Her, you guys know each other? No. I set you up to see if you were still an unfaithful bee. And you are. Then she has the freaking nerve to tell me she wasn't actually going to meet up with him. Are you freaking kidding me? Don't talk to me anymore. And I suggest you start walking. I think you missed your bus. Months go by and she hits me up. She's very apologetic and says the whole incident has been replaying in her mind. I tell her I appreciate it and I'm willing to be friends, 
but I have a girlfriend, I didn't, and even if I didn't I wouldn't date her again. She says she understands. And the subject of our falling out comes up another day. She says her three-hour walk of shame was the worst she's ever felt in her life. Good. It was the best I've ever felt in mine. TL, DR. Lying cheating ex-girlfriend tries to cheat on me with an imaginary guy and finds herself making a three-hour walk of shame instead. Got petty revenge on abusive ex-boyfriend. So I was with a guy on and off for two years. He was physically abusive at times, cheated on me in the flat I paid for at the time, and was just an all-round D of a guy. He would never pay the bills and I was stuck buying everything and no money left for myself. Me being young, 18, and thinking I knew better than everyone, I stayed with him. Finally I broke up with him for good as I couldn't take it anymore and I knew I deserved better. During our relationship, he bought me a phone for my birthday. I never asked for one, or even needed one as my own phone was absolutely fine at the time. I always thought this was quite strange. Anywho, after the final breakup I decided I wanted to get my own phone so I had nothing to remember him by. So I go to the phone shop to get the phone changed. The rep asks me the provider and my details and such. He runs it through his system and nothing comes up. He calls the network provider and while he is on the phone, he looks at me and laughs. Once done with the call he asks. Rep, did you say your ex-boyfriend bought you this phone? Me, yes, why? Rep, are you on good terms with your ex? Me, absolutely not. I hope to never see him again. Rep, well, I think you'll be happy about this. You see, the direct debit is to your bank account but the contract is in his name. Which means all you have to do is cancel the direct debit and it will switch back to the original which is his. Me, how much is left to pay on the contract? Rep, 450 pounds. Me, sounds good to me. I think I'll cancel the debit from my account. And with that, I cancelled the debit from my account and got myself a new contract under my own name. Probably nothing compared to most people's posts on here, but I felt a small win for all the abuse he gave to me. About a month later he messaged me on social media after making a fake account, asking why he has money coming out of his account for the phone. He was stuck paying the whole balance. Revenge on blind ex-girlfriend I was with this girl named Cindy for three years but for the purpose of this story we will call her CW. CW was my first real girlfriend and I was a victim of being blinded by what I thought was love. The first year was okay other than her being childish and controlling. The second year sucked bad but I didn't know how to break up with her so I dealt with it. I suspected her of cheating on me several times at this point. At the beginning of the third year she unfortunately went blind. We were both devastated and the next two months were very difficult to say the least. At this point I didn't even think about breaking up with her because I didn't want to leave her when she needed me the most. She would get lost walking from the couch to the refrigerator. Anyway, I did absolutely everything for her. I mean everything. From wiping her ass to getting her a glass of water and everything in between. With my help she eventually adjusted as much as would be expected. We got in contact with our local DHS office, and with their help we got the ball rolling on getting her enrolled in Ikerwood School for the Blind in Chicago. She had to gain a certain level of independence in order to attend, and with my help she was accepted. This is when it really goes downhill. She goes to school and within 24 hours decides to break up with me. We talk through it and stay together. I pay all the bills and give her spending money and buy train tickets back and forth, all the while she never wants me to come visit, seems fishy to me. The entire first semester is rough for me. We fight the entire time she was home on break. A week into the second semester we barely talk. I get really drunk one night and all my frustrations from the last two years got the best of me and called her a cheating bee. She breaks up with me and I'm sad. She comes home to gets her things and moves out of my house and into an apartment with a guy from school the next week. A semester goes by and I never hear from her until she breaks up with this guy and moves back home. We start talking about getting back together so I get her old roommate's number because I have questions that need to be answered. I call her up and she tells me everything I need to know. She had cheated on me with four people during the first semester then hooked up with a guy the night we broke up. I told her to come get the rest of her stuff from my place. 
while she is there I delete her text-to-speech app from her phone. I have a big ass sharpie and write, I am a cheating bee on several of her shirts. I throw her shit out in the yard and kick her out. MySpace was still a thing at this time so I posted all kinds of stuff about her being a cheater. It was a couple of weeks later she finally admits everything after denying it for months. She even admitted to cheating before she went blind. It was only recently I learned that she wore at least two of the shirts I wrote on out in public. One of them several times. That had me messed up for a while but it is satisfying knowing she wore the shirts and advertised her cheating ways for the whole world to see.